everybody. I'm finally back with another support tip, which I haven't done in a while. At some point, I was feeling like I almost taught everything that I could teach. And I see a lot of people are, you know, using my style. Uh, a lot of people are doing it professionally now, using the stuff I taught them, which is great to see. This is what I wanted to do was to spread the knowledge. But then I realized uh, I was painting up this guy, this awesome war bear, sculpted by uh, Miniatures of Madness. And I was thinking about how I'd supported him. And I realized there have been some things about my support game that have evolved. And I, I actually do use some different techniques now than I did even two, three months ago. Uh, and some of them I've been using for a while. And I realized I hadn't shared them with you guys. Uh, so I figured now's the perfect time to do it since I haven't made a support tip video in a while. And, and after thinking about it, I have a couple more that I can actually make. I think that will help you guys out a little bit. So this first one, don't want to waste time. We're going to jump right into Chitterbox and, and see how to do it. And this also, for those people who have switched over to Lychee, I'm going to do a Lychee uh, slice to review soon. And also I'm going to start doing uh, tutorials the way I did for Chitterbox to help those people who've moved over to Lychee uh, get the best results there as well. So the what I call this tip is... And I don't know where old wives tale or what you call it, but good things come in threes. Or do they say good things come in twos and bad things come in? I can't even remember what it is, but I'm calling this tip good things come in threes. Now, before we jump into Chitterbox, let me just give you an overview of it. So when you're supporting a model, so you've got the model and you say supporting this paw, you drop the support. In reality, we should be looking at upside down. The model's here. The supports here, build plates up here. So if you have an island like this, you put a support. But if that island is effectively supporting a large part of the model, any movement to any side for any reason from the peel force, the suction, any kind of movement, it's more likely to break off. It would be a lot more stable if instead of one support there, you had three. So that's what I do. And let me show you what I mean because I don't... It's important to see how I do it, so you do it the right way. But in almost all situations where you can do it, three supports are better than one. And since you guys know what I really like to do is get you to minimize your model damage so you have the least amount of cleanup to do afterwards, this also allows us to use, um, for the main support part there, a slightly smaller support. You don't wanna to go too small that you fail, but by adding these, the second and third support, allows you to go slightly smaller on the initial support. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be very useful for you guys. Hopefully it'll get you less fails. When you get pre-supported files from Patreons, if you're getting fails, you can go in and use this technique. Instead of thickening up support, you can go in and just add a little bit like I'm gonna show you here, and it'll probably lead to success on prints where you're getting fails, like we know the pancake elbows or a cape or a weapon or whatever it is. So anyway, let's, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right to Chitterbox. Let's check this out. And like I said, hopefully it'll help you guys. So we're looking at a model by RNE Studio, and it's a big one. And you can see, if you glance around, you'll see my rule of three in effect in several spots. I saved this last ring to do, this last iron ring, I guess, or whatever it could be made out of, through his skin. And you see there's one island there. I could just put one large support and call it a day. And it'll probably hold. But if someone has their lift speed a little high, or maybe their settings aren't dialed in, that also might end up in a pancake ring there and ruin the whole print. I mean, in my eyes, a pancake there ruins the print. You want that to come out perfect. So what I can do instead is I'll use my rule of three. So I'm actually, you see how much material it's supporting. So what I'm actually gonna do is shrink down the, this support a little bit from 60 to 50. Okay, you see it shrink. Now what I'm gonna do is double click on it and Chitterbox that gives you a clone support. I'm gonna click light support to thin it out a little bit. And now I'm going to make a three point support pillar, which now gives much, much better support to that ring. With three points of contact, and balance on both sides, it is less likely to pull off that main support and we're gonna get a nice, perfectly printed ring. And this does not result really in any more model damage than the one bigger support would. I mean, it might be a teeny tiny little bit more, but this is at the, you know, what we're trying to do is guarantee that little parts like that don't fail. There's nothing worse when you get a print that's 98% good 
and you have one part that failed, because for me, that means I have to reprint it again. So I want to make sure anytime I'm supporting islands like these rings or anything similar, where I can get three supports in, if I get three supports in, I'm using my rule of three. I even use it for little micro supports that I use, say, on the on the back edge of, uh, uh, say, a boot flap or something. I'll put three back there. Just they'll be super duper thin. So anyway, that's a tip for today. Remember, three supports are better than one. So let's use that rule of three. Thanks and happy 3D printing.